This is a Lodge Sportsman's Grill. That is a fire cup. That is a Zippo lighter. And it just went out. Good, never. Like that fire cup like that, and it gets a good fire going. We're gonna be cooking uh, rockfish over applewood today. I think we got it, right like that. And this is a Weber mini fire chimney full of applewood. So that's gonna get going. We're gonna dump it in there, put the grill grate on, and we're gonna cook some uh, Alaskan rockfish. Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I got going on for you. We're going to cook some rockfish. Oh, yeah. Alaskan rockfish, y'all. Um, I got this from Emerald Isle Seafoods, but Emerald Isle didn't send it to me per se. They, uh, the benevolent subscriber, he bought it from Emerald Isle and he sent it to me. And I cooked a lot of this last year. And I've cooked some just this way with applewood, but I didn't make a video of it. I said I got to make a video. Well, I wound up saving my last two fillets for quite a few months now. And as it got to be holidays, I said, you know what? I'll wait till after the first of the year when people are doing their New Year's resolution, maybe eating a little more healthy, maybe eating a little more pescatarian. I'm trying to eat a little more pescatarian because one, I like fish and there needs to be a little bit less Big Lou. You know, Big Lou doesn't need to be quite so big anymore. So anyway, I saved these two. Now, also, I want to tell you, Emerald Isle, they've been watching my videos. And they sent me a Christmas card. Yeah, I've been hanging on this a few weeks. I know it's after Christmas. It's uh, end of the first week in January. So, and um, that's what it says. You can read it if you pause the video and read it if you want to. All right. Um, I don't have my reading glasses on, but let's say hi, Big Lou, um, and family. Wishing you all a wonderful new year. We we love your channel. Watch every episode. Uh. Here doing, uh, we're doing great getting to, so I don't have my reading glasses on. I can read better than this. I don't have my reading glasses on. All right. We're doing great. So excited to uh, get to the new year. We got a, uh, we got Tanner Crab season uh, opens January 15th. Uh, then Rockfish and Cod uh, to follow. You all take uh, good care and stay safe. Lynn, Anita, and Matt, and Tristan from Emerald Isle Seafoods in Alaska. Y'all, I will leave a link to Emerald Isle Seafoods. I gotta say, this rockfish has been good, and to hold it for a few months uh, without cooking it has been rough, but I wanted to wait till after the new year. We're gonna cook it on applewood. Uh, you saw me light the fire. The coals are about ready to go. Let's get this fish prepped. All right, this applewood is ready, and we're just gonna dump it right there into that grill. All right, and that's gonna burn real hot. And we're gonna put the uh, grill grate on. Now I've got this oil down with some grapeseed oil and uh, shut this right here. And I'm uh, gonna we'll put the draft door in to um, cool it back a little bit. Let's prepare this fish and get it on here. All right, I'm gonna put some of this uh, pecan oil on them and we're gonna do just a few other ingredients as well. So what I'm gonna got here is um, some pecan oil in a jar, so I'm just gonna brush it on each filet, each side. Don't have to be neat, just get it done. Oh, didn't flip that one over, did I? All right, pecan oil. All right, now, you got a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice, squeezed right out of the plastic container. Yeah, you could use a whole lemon, but uh, you don't need as much juice as you do from a whole lemon just for these two fillets. If I was cooking a lot, maybe I'd have gone to the store and bought a lemon. All right, we'll flip them over and do that in a minute. Now I'm going to use some uh, Uncle Steve Shake South Texas Red. All right, where's the lens? Right there, all right? Uh, he made some special labels for me in my fifth year anniversary, which happened this past November. And I really appreciate that, Steve. Uh, now, I'm not using Uncle Steve's Shake because he sends it to me. I'm using Uncle Steve's Shake because it's good, all right? This South Texas Red I have found to be very good on seafood. I think he intended it as a wild game seasoning for, like, deer and stuff. But um, I really like it. Um, 
Now, if I put this on here as thick as like a fish blackening seasoning, this fish would be way too hot, all right? But um, just a little sprinkling on here for this grilled fish, and it is really, really good, all right? Now, I didn't put lemon juice on this side, so we squeeze a little bit of lemon on it like that. Maybe I'll brush the lemon juice around, sprinkle that like that. And that's it. This fish is ready for this grill. All right, so I've reset the camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pretty side down so it cooks first and then we'll flip it over. Just like this right here. You slide that around. Ooh, that's hot, man. And we're gonna let that uh, fish cook just like that. I'll show you what it looks like when we flip it. I do have this uh, grill grate well seasoned with grapeseed oil. All righty, I did add some more wood pieces and it is time to flip it. You can start to see the moisture peeled up and you can start to see it getting white along the edges here. And that's when it's time to flip it. So let's see if we get this whole thing flip. Oh, that's hot, man. Ah, a little sticking. Dead nab it. That's not supposed to happen, but you know, my show is real, guys. I did have it all down with grapeseed oil. Now that one didn't stick too bad. That's good fish right there. Mm. That was a little sloppy. But you know, hey, I'm just a fella having fun with food fire and a phone camera in my backyard. Look at that little bit of fish right there. That's all done, and I'm about to use that as pit master privilege. Uh-huh. Not going to take long now. We're going to cook this to at least about 145, and it's not going to be long before it gets there. Look at that, 145. I'm pulling this fillet off of here, and I'm going to move this one, which isn't quite done, over here to this hotter part of the fire. A good fish crust with Uncle Steve's South Texas red uh, flavor in it. So I'm scraping it off of there. Now this one. Just move it in. This rockfish is a white flaky fish as you can see it. So it does fall apart. But <clears throat> it tastes so good over this applewood. It really, really does. And um It'll taste just as good in more than one piece as it does in one piece, I promise you that. Not long now. All right, that filet is done too. So let's get it off of here. You may notice I've got some eggplant on the grill. That's seasoned with the pecan oil and some homemade adobo, not, to, not um, Uncle Steve's. I'll scrape all that off as well. Well, all right, I got some eggplant cooking over there and we're gonna cook it with this uh, rockfish right there. Yeah, it flakes apart because it's a white flaky fish, but um, it is absolutely delicious on the grill. I love to do it. And um, I don't always get it quite that uh, fall apart, but you know, it's the first time I've done the applewood thing on a video. But I gotta tell you, I love this and that South Texas red is just fabulous, Steve. It really is good. Makes a good seafood season and I think you intended it for wild game, but it's good on fish. And it's got a lot of red pepper and stuff in it. Now, that last one you saw, it was a little bit over that 145 mark. That's because my mama called me and y'all know I'm just a fella having fun with food, fire, and a phone camera in my backyard. So when she called, she called on my camera, so I answered it. And the reason I answered it, God bless her heart. You know what bless her heart means when you're from the South. And I said, Mama, I'm making a video with rockfish. She goes, what is rockfish? And I said, it's the fish I'm making a video with. She says, is it an app? I said, no, it's a fish. I'm cooking it and making a cooking video. She goes, oh, bye. No, look, I'm not making fun of my mama because at my age, I know a lot of people that can't call their mama, including my two kids, all right? So anyway, I'm glad she was able to call me, but got that last fish a little overdone, but it's not too bad. Look at that. That's a piece of it right there. Mmm. Man, that Emerald Isle rockfish is really, really good. I love it. I've been saving these two pieces for a while. Hey, Emerald Isle, thanks for sending me the holiday card. Just warmed my heart. Thank you so much. Hope y'all have a great uh, year up there in Alaska. And um, thank you, Uncle Steve, for sending the South Texas Red, the um, special labels, everything. You treat me really nice. 
Guys, I'll have links below to a Lodge Sportsman's Grill or the Lodge Kickoff Grill if you want one of those. Cast iron grills are great for cooking this kind of fish. Thank you for watching. Big Lou Barbecue. Mm, mm, that's good, y'all.